speaking, relatively speaking, because you went to school, it was an easy one for a change. We used yeah. to speak to not having well, we, to we had on a, to the end. Yeah, well, we had a, you know, whenever you think you got a two or three score, you play differently. Mm -hmm. and, and we actually, we, we didn't feel urgency. We just felt like we were still trying to maintain what we had. We had control probably from the beginning to the end, really. Looking back, I don't know if at the moment I would say that, but looking back, we probably did. Um, yep. Quest, Quest should be fine for next week, by the way. You think so? Yeah. I mean, we we were very protective of him, and there was no need, and we just. I mean, there was well, a lot should. of act, there was a lot of activity around him. Were you con well, were he, you concerned he, about the concussion issue? Is that no, what? No, no, no. Let's not make it. Up. Let's not make it so. Well, I mean, he got he got dinged. He said when he fell on the ground, he said everything went numb for a second on the side of his body, and that happens. Mm -hmm. But there wasn't any need to put him back out. He just, should be ready to play next week. To, just, just to carry that point, just just a little bit further. And I was your quarterback. He's your veteran quarterback. Mm -hmm. The trainers are over there next to him throughout the whole time. Uh, Clancy's over there the whole time. He gets on the bench with sunglasses on, towels over his head to keep the glare and everything out of his eyes. That's what leads me to think that that's what that was. Too. That's what I think too, but that's not the report I got. Okay. I got you know Bill walked up to me. He said we've taken every precaution, but I, I just think he just said he thought it was a general contusion, and he. He got thrown on his shoulder, mm -hmm. and his head did hit the ground, but it was a general thing. Uh, yeah, a, a, a follow yeah. through from, and they, from they, that. They probably took general precautions, but nobody said anything like that to me. Scary? Well, I, yeah, I didn't put him back out there. I mean, we we could have, I mean, they didn't say we couldn't put him back in there. Is uh, on, on the, the bad side of this, um, you still couldn't put the game away yeah. with, with the run. And I know well, you had issues with your offense. Well, let me, let, me, let me say this, because I do think I have to clarify myself. And I think I had to clarify myself uh, with the players after the game because I, I took a strong position with our players in running the football last week and really did it on the outcome without ever looking at really the detail of it. The detail didn't didn't point to what my fears were at the time, mm -hmm. which that we just didn't have the attitude it took to run the football. And, and I didn't see a lack of that. I saw a lack of execution enormously. And then I did the same thing. I challenged them over there, and when I did, I mean, they came off and stung them. But then we turned right around and misexecuted it. At least I was looking for the difference, and I don't think last week I could distinguish one from the other. And, and I told them that, you know, and I wish you would write this, there was not a player in the offensive line in the fourth quarter of this game that was playing a position they played when spring training. And, right. and that is a – and you got Cody out there, and we have a, we have a lot of checks, and – Sometimes his his participation in it is not consistent. It's just too many new, too many new things going on. If if there's anything any direction that has to be drawn from this, it is my my responsibility to resolve that somehow because it, it, it's not ever going to be an excuse for losing. Um, but easily it could have been a reason we lost, uh, but we didn't. They, and you mentioned the offensive line, guys. I was going to ask you about that. And I know there was a bunch of mixing because that's what you got to do. I mean, you've got Kurt Porter, who has played right and left tackle, right and left guard, and finished this game at center. Right. He didn't play all five in this game, did he? Not <laughs> no, not in this game. That would have been an all-timer. Uh -huh. But you had, I mean, you had, uh, I mean, it's just a long scenario people don't care about anyway. It just suffices to say that it is. It has just really been amazing. I guess the most amazing thing is you take a tight end mm -hmm. and play him every play at left guard, and 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 he's a tight end. 
and you take a defensive end that won here a couple weeks ago and put him at tight end and he catches a touchdown pass. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a lot of mechanization. It, it is, and we've just got to survive it. To, But I do think that we've got to – I think we've got to create some uh, – I think we've got to cr come up with a plan to eliminate the execution issues. The first thing I would say is we've got to get simple. But one reason we're scoring points is, in spite of that, we still attack people very well. I think I think Coach Letson's doing a great job of attacking people, and and our playmakers are at receiver. Mm -hmm. And if we were to overreact, I think it would get us. Uh, I think the danger now is to overreact, but still somehow we've got to get to it. And I couldn't say this last week, but I will say this: it is not attitude. Um, I want really just two last things, um, and one of it goes to two guys. They told us upstairs, Jamal's got three touchdown catches now. It's the most touchdown catches by a running back in one season since you guys have moved to Division One. What's that say about his versatility and how you use your running backs? And secondarily, Calvin scored coming back from, for, yeah. for the first time in like three or right. four weeks. So just well, those of, are the two guys that, that led us last year, and they're they're quite. Uh, uh, compatible, uh, complimentary. I mean, when you've got Jamal, you got a you got a, a slash dimension. Mm -hmm. uh, he can even throw it. Uh, we really, ain't seen that yet, you know, but I got it. He can. Um, but you know, we. I'm. I'm. It was probably as having Calvin back really gave us an edge early. I thought. Calvin, Calvin's really a special player, and he's playing. He, he's playing at about eighty percent right now, yeah. and maybe he can get up to ninety, and maybe ninety-five. But uh, Al, we have got a lot of heart now. It, it, we heart might not can get us everywhere we want to go, mm -hmm. but we won't not be where we want to go because of lack of heart. I can tell you that. I mean, I the, today was not easy, and. And our defense has to keep going out there, and they don't complain or moan. They just go play. I mean, it's just a... And, and clarify something for me. I was curious, but we talked about this upstairs for a second. The punt that hits Cameron in the back, yeah. can they return that? You know, I would say that that's down in the ball right there. Yeah, I, would, I mean, I, that's, that's generally speaking for football. That's it may be a muff. Because, I mean, it, it, your, your guy's the first guy to hit. I mean, to me, it's like if your guy turns around and tries if to If he catch catches it, it I know it's his And it was the weirdest thing. I mean, but, I if, just... it, but if it hits him and comes dead, I think it's down where he touched it. But I'm not sure the ball doesn't react like a muff, which meant he couldn't return it. it he would have, he have, would it, have right it where there. he picked it up. Now, I need some clarification. I've never seen it before. Yeah, I'd never. I was, I and I wish I was – Smart enough to tell you, I know how to apply the rule. But, I, I mean, I've decided. But I'll find out, and we'll we'll cover it. 